when they came to me he could not stand at all and i put him on some medication and on physical therapy uh, and i got a good response in the first so what was the response response uh, he was uh, previously as i told you that he was unable to stand even so after your treatment after uh, whatever you gave uh, medicines like this and uh, gave some uh, uh, exercise like this so he was uh, uh, able to uh, stand at least for so how long had, uh, for what was uh, the time uh, period how much he could stand initially uh, initially he can uh, he was able to stand uh, for uh, so five or 10 minutes he was able to stand so after this uh, but whenever he stand even for single uh, moment he felt after what yeah, if he tries to stand yeah. so he felt yeah then yeah. but after your treatment so he was able to stand at least and really i am satisfied and I'm very happy and he could continue standing for so some time for some time uh, after receiving this medicine or taking this medicine and so how were the feet and ankle in keeping on the ground it, it was okay it was okay they gradually improved. yeah they, they improved did you consult the dietitian as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. when was that it was uh, dietitian ko ke pass kabare it was 2 weeks ago so what was yes. the reason to consult the dietitian why, why why did i tell you why because, to consult because uh, he belongs to a village life so you don't know that what was type he of gaining uh, weight and he was not having good power yeah, in his yeah, body yeah, so yeah. i wanted to manage yeah, his weight yes, that was the reason that, that was the reason right? yeah. so what happened so um, really we are satisfied that uh, he is uh, gr- gradually uh, uh, in- improving and he is healing right yeah. okay so we then discussed online with dr green right uh, you me and uh, dr green were online yeah and we consulted for the patient so uh, at that time i mean what were your yes questions? after our discussion uh, really i very pleased uh, to met dr uh, david green so i was uh, fully satisfied that uh, with this uh, treatment what uh, you are going to give him mm-hmm. so so after this i was uh, completely satisfied so when we started this treatment uh, the result came fruitful mm-hmm. people i would like, like to ask first of all uh, i am really thankful to you that you gave me opportunity to ask a question so uh, first of all uh, i want to give Uh, some message to everyone because uh, nobody knows about a stem cell thra- therapy in so pakistan in pakistan yeah so first of all i would like to ask uh, what is stem cell therapy uh, what is stem cell first of all sure so a lot of people have the conception that when you administer stem cells um we're using aborted fetuses um and embryonic stem cells and that's not the case you know we're using stem cells that come from an ethical source umbilical cord donations we actually get them right now from the united states um the lab that we get them from has been in existence for 17 years and certified by the fda when we give stem cells to a patient what we're hoping to achieve is repair and regeneration of tissue that has at some time become damaged it might be from chronic a chronic medical issue or in the case of a child with cerebral palsy it could be from a brain infection it could be from lack of oxygen during or after childbirth but the problem is that the brain is only so good at fixing itself if it was really really good then you know no kid would have cerebral palsy right so they would is it yeah. give uh, uh, support to the uh, damaged tissues or damaged damaged cell this yes cell. yes so what it can do is it can facilitate the body to help repair itself where it otherwise would not be able to do it okay what what does that mean when we give stem cells to a child with cerebral palsy we're hoping and it often happens that the stem cells are able to help create new connections in the brain new neurons new astrocytes new glial cells 
And what the studies have shown, and what our results have shown too, is that children often are able to gain improvements in what we call gross motor function, which is better balance, better ability to walk, better ability to know where they are in space at any given time. Um, and it's usually very noticeable and it, it's very uh, helpful as the child grows up. Just uh, uh, about uh, 10 minutes ago, as I know that uh, about 50 million uh, stem cells you give to this child, um, uh, Ashar Hussain. So is there any side effect, number one? Number two, how, for how long does it stay in the body? These are good, very good questions. Um, first of all, I'll address how long it stays in the body. Um, the stem cells that we give um, into the spinal cord will stay there for anywhere from six to nine months. Six to nine months. But that doesn't mean that they stop, you know, the, the actions that they've started. Yeah, yeah. You know, the dominoes it has fallen already and the actions have been, the new neurons are being created, the new connections in the brain. Those will continue. But the stem cells themselves, they do die at around six to nine months um, when given in that way. When you were asking about side effects, um, the side effects that we've seen in the last 10 years since we've been doing these treatments have been mild to moderate, meaning a child or an adult may have some chills temporarily, a low-grade fever, maybe um, some nausea. We have seen uh, temporary diarrhea, um, lightheadedness, but that's really been about it. We've never seen what's called a significant adverse event Children and adults do not reject the stem cells that we offer. We have not seen a disease transmission. The quality assurance that we utilize is highest imaginable. We've never seen a deep infection to date, knock on, uh, on wood. Um, yeah, we haven't seen that um, in 10 years and 18,000 procedures to date. So. Right, so I would like to comment is that, I mean, as Asher started improving with physical therapy and with medications. Medication, right? Yes. So it means that I mean he has started regenerating and repairing himself. Repairing himself, yes. So it shows that stem cells is going to further enhance this process. Yes. Because they have got this capability of capability repair. of this one. Yes, yes. Right. So after this, I am expecting that your progress of healing is going to progress very quickly than it was before stem cells. Before stem cells. So his weight is 29 kg and his age is 6 years. So is it uh, okay? It's absolutely okay. So when a child is 2, 4, 6 years old, you know, they heal a lot better than we do, right? Yeah. So um, the hope is that the stem cells that we've given will help to really create those new connections and neurons. But I do want to mention that, you know, one of the reasons that Dr. Hakan is a critical part of the team um, is because it's one thing to just have a child who can maybe benefit and do the stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. It's another to have a team in place that can help with additional medications, physical therapy. We have a nutritionist on staff. When we put those into play, the outcome for these kids is amazing when it unless whereas where other centers they just do the stem cells and then that's it they don't have the program so i think over the years since we put this together our outcomes have gone like this and i think really, i am is, very glad and very happy the with the treatment of dr khan Zanjua and he's doing his best and i hope that uh, the result will be fruitful his work is amazing, you know, yeah. and I think amazing. with your grandson, yeah. Yeah. we're going to see that. Yeah, yeah. We've already seen it, you know, to, to an extent, and well, it'll continue to go like this yes, yes, yes. with the results from the stem cell. Uh, mostly in Pakistan, nobody knows about this uh, treatment, like this stem cell and like this treatment. And I, I, I hope, I know that only Dr. Khakan is one of the, uh, the doctor for this uh, uh, because as I can see, you have been going to different doctors through the years. Yeah, yeah. Right. many doctors, yeah. yeah.
and I mean, you started seeing the uh, improvement within the first week. Within, within the first week, yes. So that is amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. A, it's incredible. Yes, I don't know. You know, I don't know how it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Really, I am very glad uh, and I am very thankful to you that uh, I am sitting um, among uh, two the best doctor of, of uh, United States and the best doctor in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very,